Of course, it's another Brexit video and I get started very soon. But I just want to say thank you for once in the beginning of the video, because um, my new island mug, the new edition because of my rebranding of, of the channel some time ago, is really liked by a lot of people here. And I especially want to thank someone. I don't know if he ordered them in different colors or as gifts for friends, but one person ordered eight of them alone. So. Um, I wish you a lot of fun with the mugs and uh, I'm glad you like it. But I really want to thank all of you for all the good feedback on it. And I just thought I should say a word about this because I'm really grateful for all your comments on that. But <laughs> the rest of the video will, of course, have to do with Ireland as well. And there will in the next days be some surprises under the videos in in the merch stuff for my Irish viewers and my Scottish viewers as well, because um, my rebranding brought changes in a lot of designs and uh, you may like them as, as much as the mug, perhaps. We will see. But French European Affairs Junior Minister Clément Bourne said on Monday that current tensions over Brexit between British Prime Minister Boris Johnson's government and the European Union were a test for Europe. The tensions between Britain and the EU threatened to overshadow the Group of Seven Summits conclusion on Sunday, with London accusing France to offensive remarks that Northern Ireland was not part of the United Kingdom. Mr. Johnson thinks that you can sign deals with the Europeans and not respect them and that Europe will not react. It's a test for Europe, Bone told Europe uh, uh, Radio. I'm telling the British people Brexit commitments must be respected. If it is not the case, retaliatory measures could be taken, Bone added. During talks with Emmanuel Macron at the G7 summit, Johnson queried how the French president would react if Toulouse sausages could not be sold in Paris markets, echoing London's accusation that the EU is preventing sales of British chilled meats in Northern Ireland. In Northern Ireland, there are sausage import problems. Why? Because when you leave the European Union, you have necessarily some trade barriers, Bone said. I cannot tell the French or the other Europeans that Britain can export via EU member Ireland some products such as meat without any control. That is what is that thing all about. The whole trouble is all about that. And it is all about one very important thing. Brexit does have consequences. We all knew this and there will have to be a time where the British government will have to understand that Brexit has consequences. And I'll see you in my next video. Auf Wiedersehen.